Hey guys, today we're going to talk about making a movable camera for our little demo here. Uh, first thing you're going to need is a vector to hold the position of our camera, and you need three vectors to hold the orientation of our camera, and these are basically vectors pointed in the direction of each of the sides of our camera, so the right side, the top, and the front. Uh, and we need a couple variables for the pitch and yaw of our camera. In the init function, uh, I've moved the matrix setup code into this init camera uh, routine, which is here, and the view matrix is being created in another routine, which is found below here. Uh, in the run routine here, I've added a, a render state option to set culling to none, and we've moved the uh, set transform uh, view matrix down into the actual game run loop here, so it was moved right here. And before that, we call the camera routine, which replaced the direct up, uh, direct input update routine. Uh, the camera routine is right here, and this is actually what does the actual moving of the camera. So we update direct input, and then based on the um, keyboard keys that are pressed, we either move forward or backward, or left or right, based on W, S, A, and D, and we move in the direction of the front of the camera or the side of the camera for front or back or front or to the side respectively. Um, we then update our position by the direction we're traveling and this number is just a little uh, uh, modifier for sensitivity. You can play with that a little bit. Uh, we get the pitch and yaw of the mouse based on uh, the mouse movement for the uh, mouse coordinates. Uh, we then go ahead and rotate each of our uh, camera orientation vectors by the pitch based on the uh, side of the camera. And we rotate each of the uh, camera orientation vectors by a rotation matrix based on the yaw around the y-axis. Uh, we then take and normalize each of those vectors and straighten them such that they're all at right angles to one another, which is what these cross products do. So that everything's all nice and uh, tight for this next step, where we go and build our view matrix here. And this code was basically, uh, I came up with it from looking at the documentation out here, where if we look at the view transformation, there's a uh, little uh, box here that explains what each of the little um, numbers needs to be. And so this corresponds to this code here. Um, and so I'll, I'll go ahead and run this. So as you can see, as I move forward or backward, I move forward or backward in space and left or right, and I can look around with the mouse. And why we set that cooling mode to none is so that if I go behind the quad here, I can still see it. Whereas if I had set the culling mode to its default, which is counterclockwise, when I went behind it, I would no longer see it. And that's just a, a basic optimization that's done in the um, driver, uh, where uh, each triangle that we specify, I'll go look at our geometry code here. Um, for indexes, you can specify a winding order, and a triangle is either wound clockwise or counterclockwise, and all of our triangles are clockwise, so culling basically does not draw any counterclockwise ones, but I like to be able to see the entire thing, so I said to none, so uh, we don't have to have our quad disappearing when we go behind it. Um, I think that'll about cover it. Uh, talk to you later.